Hello, my name is Odette Ezel. It's great to be here. It's my first time in Hong Kong, so um, thank you. Recently, I was uh, invited to uh, design a flag for an exhibition in Mind, Germany. So the brief was design a flag about flags. And I started to think, how can I design a flag about flags? Because I'm going to design a flag about flags, I cannot use any aspect that you can see, any, any element that you can see on regular flags, like solid colors, diagonal, bicolor, tricolor, uh, vertical, horizontal, wedge, triangle, uh, stars, uh, fluid elise, maps, no hexagrams, no squares, rays, no animals, no human, no lion. So I had to come up with a concept, which was simply to say, this is an original design by somebody. Yeah. I came up with this solution by the end. I'll show it also in a big screen, <laughs> so you can see. So that was my flag, and that was the first time in my life that uh, I discovered that my idea is not actually my idea. This is Charles Dickens, and I was asked together with other 70 or so designers to design the first page of uh, Great Expectations, his great novel. The thing was that I, I think I was one of the only few designers that uh, English is not uh, their mother tongue. So what I did, I went down to the library next to my house, and I asked them whether they have uh, uh, the translation to Hebrew, my, my language, and they gave me this book, which is uh, from 1955, uh, translated uh, into Hebrew, and I tried to read it, and I couldn't, because the language was so archaic. So uh, I didn't know what to do, and, and the result was to translate the Hebrew translation back to English using Google Translate. And by that, to say something about how culture uh, becomes shallow these days, because obviously you can't read the English translation to the Hebrew tra translation. It's so messy. I decided not to design anything. I just took a snapshot of my screen and I sent them this and that was my design for the first page. It was a, a nice uh, to not design but to point at, uh, more like what a curator does. This is a, a shoe fair in Israel and they wanted to make an exhibition uh, of shoes designed by non-shoe designers and in order to uh, sell them and to get money uh, 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 for a shelter for women that went through sexual abuse. So here I am painting the, the statistics. I just used this the shoes as my brush and obviously the paint went down on the shoe and it was a white shoe, so black paint on a white shoe. It became really beautiful pattern and I didn't design it. It just, it was a result of my action. So these are the things that interest me right now. Um, to put my ego on the side and to let the action and to let the culture design the thing for me. A lot of my work is done by hand, but I'm not uh, fundamental about it. Um, uh, I can use whatever machine or uh, methodology that is right for a certain project. 
Um, so recently I work only on computer. Actually, I, I don't really do anything, but uh, I'm doing what I call to point at things. It's like I used uh, Google Translate for one of my works, and I used Skype to create Skype type, and I made some posters out of it. I dare to challenge myself and to, uh, to do work not only for commercial uses, but also just to experiment with uh, new directions for this field.